Step 5. Specify the inputs to vary. TopRank has several tools for specifying inputs to vary. The one you will probably favor is the risk vary function. This gives you the flexibility to vary exactly the inputs you want to vary, for now the inputs in the green cells. To add inputs that you want to vary, select any of the cells with green font, such as cell C11, and click the Add Input button on the top rank ribbon to bring up the following dialog box. Click its Add Input button, and the dialog box changes where you can see the formula that will be entered in cell C11, and you can change the name or values shown. Note that if you change the name, the risk name function is appended to the risk vary function. Click OK to add the input. You can now check that the risk vary function has been added to cell C11. This risk vary function indicates that when the what if analysis is run, this input will be varied from 10% below its base value, 16, to 10% above its base value in five steps. Actually, these default values, plus or minus 10% in five steps, can be changed in the dialog box you just saw or through the analysis settings button in the top rank ribbon. In a similar way, you can add inputs for each of the other cells in green font. I've already done this, and here are the risk vary formulas. Because the cells with green font are the only cells you want to vary, you need to change one default setting. Click the Analysis Settings button, and under the Find Inputs tab, make sure both of the top two checkboxes are unchecked. Otherwise, you will get the automatic behavior described in Step 3. Then you can run the what-if analysis, and only the seven specified inputs will vary. At this point, you might be wondering what the Auto Vary Functions button on the top rank ribbon does. It enters Risk Auto Vary Functions in input cells. These are the same as Risk Vary Functions but they are assigned by top rank automatically when you run completely automated analyses. The difference between what you saw in step three and using auto vary is that no changes were made to the input cells in step three. If you use auto vary, risk auto vary functions are added to the input cells. However, they can be removed through the auto vary functions dropdown with a single click. Now it's your turn. Specify all of the cells in green font as top rank input cells. Then check that they all contain risk vary functions. You should specify meaningful names for the inputs, but otherwise you can accept the default settings in the Add Input dialog box. Make sure you uncheck the top two options in the Find Inputs tab of the Analysis Settings dialog. Again, these two. Then run the what if analysis and interpret the results. You should see that the results are exactly the same as before, except that fewer inputs are now being varied. 